everyone. I am hanging out here at Premium Coach Group, Gilbert, Arizona, checking out coaches, and I have found a Millennium. Now, the story is this was owned by the owner of Millennium, and it is super trick. I mean, just the entry door design and styling cues are really smoking hot. This is a silver paint job, dark grays and blacks, and good stuff on the inside there. But hey, I mean, this coach is cherry. So let me get these bay doors open because those are cool enough in itself. And we'll get you a tour down all these bays here on this passenger side. We've got the bay doors open. Now my understanding is the last owner of this coach is Sunray's BMX. So that's why in bay number one, you're gonna find actually a BMX wheel mounted into this wall in the door. Now this is even a Chris King hub with 5 16 axles. I mean, that's a super nice bicycle wheel if you know bicycles cool part is you push in on it and boom you've got yourself inside of bay number one you're like oh well that's kind of cheesy what am i going to do to store stuff in there no this isn't for storage this is for the kids so i'm going to climb in here and then i'm going to come in and turn myself around i've got a little tv over here on the wall i know it's a little hard to see let me turn on some more lighting in here i'm sure there's a light switch in here somewhere let's see here no, that's not it. But here's the TV located here. You got yourself a little accesses or a whiteboard or something there. You've got yourself an outlet up there on the top. Looks like we even have some uh, AC control down in here so you can keep this bay nice and cool. And there's that bicycle wheel all lit up again. Super cool. And then, so you're driving down the road and you're like, oh man, I think I left the kids down in the bay. The kids can actually let themselves in just by pushing up on this. And then boom, we're inside the coach. So we'll give you a little tour when we get into the inside of that. Let's go ahead and open this back up, get ourselves out of this bay. We've even got a little heater on the side here in case it's cold while the kids are riding down there in the bay. See if I can climb out of here without hurting myself here. Because I am not a kid anymore. Boom. All right, I've made my way out of there. Then you're going to see we got ourselves a Marshalls amp with a speaker. Oh, wait, no. That's a refrigerator. So pretty trick there. The Marshall Stack Simulate freezer. I mean, that's super cool with the blue light inside of it and everything. Carry all your brewskis out here. Then you've got the full exterior entertainment system. I'm not going to take the time to pull this big boy out, but we've got a TV mounted on the side that flips out. We've got a cooktop in there. We've got another deep freeze in the back. We've got a sink there. All kinds of good stuff. We've got this power tech generator at 17.5 K dubs on it. And then you're going to have your plumbing bay location here, your status control panel for your aqua hot system water filter your uh, reservoir for your hydro hot nice simple location for that fuel filter for that hydro hot also and then oh what's this pressure washer shut off valve well yes we do have a pressure washer mounted in this bay with a nice reel here be able to put your wand on it get all dialed in there but let's go over the wheels and tires on this bad boy so you got 365s on the front 365s on the tag and a 455 super single drive axle so that's pretty cool it's gonna be a little more efficiency going down the road and then you get that one big monster tire back there got this skirt extension over here so you're hiding that tag tire pretty cool there all right let's get our way back here to the back cool LED lights here with the white for when they're not on got an access here get you those uh, engine start batteries the auxiliary alternator located there looks like we've got a, some chrome work even done on the engine pretty cool there and now let's come back around here to the back like i said we've got that 60 series detroit in here some cool knickknacks and goo goss. probably if i was going to guess this is probably pumped up to that 585 if not t 513 would be the factory horsepower on that so a beautiful coach two slide rooms here you're gonna have the plumbing bay and all that stuff let's get up here and i'll get all these bay doors open for you and we'll get you a tour of all that stuff all right we got all those bay doors open sorry it's a little dim in here 
because you're gonna have your plumbing bay located here with the hose reel there shore cord there um, probably located behind this if I was gonna guess is gonna be where your sewer drain goes got some uh, automated buttons there for that and then you've got your house batteries here the motor for the slide room a few other things located in here chassis wise got the uh, pit pal paper towel holder nice little option then here in bay two you're gonna have just that back side of that slide tray and then you're gonna have a nice little toolbox he looks like he's got a few miscellaneous screws and whatnot probably a handyman we're back to the kids bay so here we are with this side with the bay door open as you can see over on the other side you got that bicycle light but what's really trick is if you want to get out of the bay he's got this bicycle grip and with the latch latched in the up position like that and that puts the locks in you can actually just grab this and that makes it bay doors can open cool little bicycle chain here with the lock on odi pretty trick all right so that's all those bays and then you're gonna have your prevo stuff inside of here beautiful coach nice simple colors silver and black i mean what what other colors do you need we don't need all this fancy good graphics i still think that thing in ghost white would be super sick but that's a different story all right it's gonna be a little darker inside because this coach isn't super bright but let's get you all a tour of the inside of this giving you the tour of the floors gave you that tour of the ceilings real quick let's start up front here in the cockpit area now this is going to have a gloss vinyl on it and then some glossy seats if you've seen that video of my coach with that new ultra leather that's kind of a flat gray and black i think if you came in and wrapped this stuff with that you could really bring some of that gray up here in this cockpit area lighten it up a bit but hey that's just a suggestion it's just me i mean it's a beautiful coach as it is this thing is turnkey ready to go so that's going to be the driver's area we've got this nice large amx touch screen you've got a viewing monitor here and then all your controls for everything there you've got this driving area of course you're going to have all the good prevo amenities nothing short-handed here i mean these are the best chassis i think that you can use to build a bus maybe the van hool but that's a different video coming soon so back on track here beautiful coach we've got that chair flipped around so that way you can actually use that as a uh, computer area it looks like it does have some sort of screen there got the power blinds there you've got a tv here over on the left hand side this is going to be your uh, passenger side here nice large galley area now these little uh sconce lights if you don't like the way those are lit up you can actually change the colors of those really cool another amx controller and then here's that entry to get yourself into the bay so here we are into the kids bay or storage bay whichever you want it to be with the old lit up bicycle wheel there and then you just flip this back down and then boom it's all closed up don't got to worry about anybody falling down into the basement area there so really cool now let's get you a tour of this galley area it's got the double sink with this uh, little strainer here nice sink there let's get all these doors and drawers open for you and get you a tour of it all right boom there we've got all the galley drawers and doors and everything open got some nice overhead storage up here gonna be nice carpeted gonna have carpet again on this shelf gonna have your convection oven microwave right there some storage over the top of the refrigerator here then we're going to have a dishwasher brought to you by Fitcher Piquel, a couple drawers, some other nice drawers, a nice large deep drawer, be able to put those pans and stuff in. More storage down here. It looks like we've got all the manuals coming from Millennium, the manufacturer there. So nice 
It's got granite countertops. I don't know if these are the granolites or the standard granite countertops. I can't really feel the back of it to tell if it's got the fiberglass backing on it, but either way, nice granite countertop. So that's gonna give you all a tour of that galley area. Let's go over here to this driver's side slide room where you've got this nice couch up here in the front. And then you got this booth dinette with these cool retro 70s chairs, even painted silver to match the outside of the coach, I think to bring some of that gray color in here. And then got some storage down here across the very bottom of it. Got this little island storage located right here. Some of the knickknacks and goo in these drawers. And that pretty much covers this slide room. Now this probably, yep, this is gonna be an air mattress, hide a bed. So that'll pop out and be able to inflate that up. Have a nice area there. We will cover the three door fridge freezer. So you've got that. Nice three doors up there. And then you've got this nice large drawer down here for more freezer storage. So that pretty much covers the old kitchen aid there. Looks like we've got a flip out here. This is gonna get you all your systems panel controls. Bunch of breakers, dual magnum inverters, some generator status there, some 110 things going on there. Looks like a couple floor heat controls there. Pretty much kind of covers that control panel. Pretty cool little access with the multi doors there. Close that and then close that. Now it's gonna have the touch pad system in it for all the overhead lights. So you can turn those all on and off push button. We'll open this up. We're gonna have a little toilet room right here. Looks like we've even got a little AMX display here in the toilet room. Looks like we might, I'm not gonna pull on it. I'm gonna say that that's a service access. This I'm going to push on and then that's going to open up oh, the mountain money. So a little mountain money storage here. We don't have any on the roll. We've got a little magazine rack over here on the side. This, if I was going to guess, I'm going to say is probably a headhunter. Yep, the old headhunter royal flush toilet with the slow close lid. Got that fantastic fan controller there. Looks like we can even, boom, go out of there and into here. Now we've made our way into the main sink area. Super cool, let's see if this is working. Whoa, that is trick. You know, some people don't like the surface mount sinks. I like them because then I end up with all this countertop area around them and don't lose all that. It is pretty uh, custom kind of sink there. The verdict's not out on that one yet. Let's see, do we get any accent lighting in these tiles? No, I guess not, but there, it's a pretty cool backsplash going on there. Let's close that toilet room. Then we've got some storage below here. Let me get all that stuff opened up for you. All right, we've got all that. Looks like we've got an auto closing door. We are leaning a little bit to the driver's side. So nice drawers there. Then up here, we've got another cabinet. Nice lined cabinet shelves. Get those closed up. Looks like we've got one here at the rearward side. And then we've even got one here at the forward side. Looks like fantastic fan control. Probably have a fantastic fan hidden up under one of these ceiling panels. Super custom, hand painted and craftsmanship style ceiling there. Um, really cool. I like the shower enclosure. Now this is gonna be a solid glass with probably some CR Lawrence hardware. I know the latch is a CR Lawrence. You just give that a rotate. And close up these three drawers for us here real quick. And then we can give that shower enclosure door a quick opening. I'll pop off my shoes real quick. Go in here, give this a feel. Ooh, nice, nice feel. I do feel like I'm kind of in a fish bowl though. I've got this cool radius glass here. I don't know, I think I would get a hold of Fading the Black LLC, maybe get a little tint on that, just my personal paint, or even flame tint. I think that would be cool, but then I'm a flame guy. So you can always do something cool like that with a tint, or even go with a wrap material on there, make a really cool shower enclosure, but it's nice and low. Very little steps, so you're not having to worry about catching your toe in here. And then, of course, I'm being about six foot, so we got plenty of uh, ceiling space in there. I'm going to guess that fantastic fan is located under there. Maybe, maybe not, but we'll get that shower enclosure closed up. Watch that CR Lawrence. And then here, before we come into the back, into the bedroom area, you're going to have a Bosch stacked washer dryer combination got some nice storage across the top be able to keep all your cleaning 
supplies to be able to do the wash. Maybe a little simple green storage up in there. Here's that bedroom. We've got these wall lights turn on to kind of a blue mode. Those are color changeable, super cool there. And then we've got some cabinet on both sides of this window here in the bedroom. We've got a pop-up TV here in the very center. Looks like we've got a th Xbox 360 already in here. We'll go ahead and close these up. Then we've got some storage down here in the very bottom again. And then we're going to have storage over here on this side. So cool coach. Got another AMX control pad back here. Some nice drawers here with some storage on both sides of the closet entrance. Got this nice large bed. I still think that gray ultra leather that's on my seats put on here would be cool just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. But hey, it's still a great coach. Some storage across the very top here. No lights in there, so that's going to be a little bit dark for you to see. Got the factory uh, Coleman air conditioner thermostat there. Now, I think those can be uh, changed out to the new micro airs. I know the micro air that I got was for the Dometic, but I do... I want to say that they make one for the Coleman RVP products also. So another storage over here over the bed. Super cool coach. Let's go into the closet here. It is a little dark. Kind of hurting for light. I think there's a light that's supposed to come on and it's just not coming on. But nice large bar space there. I know it's dark. It's dark. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ceiling fan located up here above the bed. Got those... Uh, surround sound speakers located there for the front audio video system and then we've got this big old mid atlantics technology audio video rack over here on the left hand side that's going to have your amx controls and so on and so forth in there and this little folding door here for this closet area get that like that that like that and then close that so all right so 2002 millennium super cool coach sadly enough it's already sold but i i am about doing these so that way you guys have tours and get to have some good tv entertainment with rvs so that's why i really do a lot of these tours sure sometimes it's to show something off that's for sale but it's really about just showing you guys different rvs super cool coach i like it i like the checkered board backsplash cool part is anything that you want in a coach like this completely changeable I mean, this may be a millennium built, but hey, if you live up in Oregon, take it over to Marathon, they'll change whatever you'd like over there. Preville conversion specialists up in Oregon, and they're all over the country. You got Liberty out in Florida and all those different guys. So, all right, everyone. Oh, I don't think I showed you this. So we have huge drawer here and then a couple shelves. Looks like we've even got a central vacuum system. So, all right. I hope I didn't miss anything. I hope you're all having a great day. I hope you enjoy these videos. And I do want to thank everybody that's taking that time to subscribe. Thank you all for taking that time to give me the thumbs up. And everyone, all those comments you're dropping. But till next time, let's go find some more coaches. Bye-bye.